Baba Booey, yes. Oh, for fuck's sake, I missed one specific need. I forgot to change the fucking... Uh, the title screen. God damn it. From oh, have you guys read about one D&D? Uh, yes. Looks cool. I'm excited. Yeah, let's... let's... What? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's back with their chicken tendies. <laughs> yeah, I am. Tendies have been acquired. Tendies have been acquired indeed. Tendies. Tendies. Oh, well. oh, God. I have also been acquired. But yeah, uh, <laughs> welcome to session four of this little journey of yours. As you are somewhere out there in this little map that I unveiled. Don't worry. You... Oh, wait, I need to open your stream. Oh, God. That's a pretty big map. That... Wait, are you streaming already? Yeah, yeah, yes. yes. Oh, right. My brain's kind of small. Better be careful what you say. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. I'm going to be cancelled. I've been saying so many poop. bad things. Poop. Poop, 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 poop. It's... Damn. He's Bold. Nuts. Got him. Oh, boy. Welcome to session. Four of the shenanigans. Uh, I guess without for it's such a just shenanigans. It is. It is just shenanigans. I know. I know. No. 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 Ouch. Oh God. Shenana boobles. Shenanigans. Shenana everything. I don't know. Let's get our shenan on again. Yes. 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 So I That's got Shanana these Shananons. Yes, yeah, so without further ado, I got a simple question to ask, the same one I ask every single fucking week. You ready to begin? Yes. Yes. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mayhaps. So yeah. Mayhaps. Uh, Mayhaps. So yeah. Uh Oh yeah, also, I guess I, I can show off now these little cards on stream, because I've worked... Oh, let's see. So, yeah, so first of all, we got Valentine, uh, that is played... Don't cards. Yeah, that is played by uh, Hauntlich. You can find him on YouTube, Twitter, and of course Twitch, all under the same handle. Let's go. Yeah. Then we got ourselves uh, Maple Moth. That is found Hello. on Twitch and uh, Twitter. Then we got uh, Dionia played as uh, Lobotomy Bunny, uh, which also has a Twitch and a Twitter. We got Cinti. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. We got Cinti that is playing Recifitra, uh, the soon to be genocidal slime. It also has a already genocidal. already <laughs> genocidal slime. Thank uh, you very much. Yeah, and then we got uh, Euro that is played by Vivi. Yeah, yeah okay. and Pog. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank yes. you. My, I, th I thank my mother. I think my, I think my dad. I think my Jesus Christ. I think not... Cinti because Cinti. Oh yes. crap! Were we supposed to have I a speech like prepared? Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. Give me a second. So, last. We also the music is good, right? Oh. I can't hear much of it, but uh, what I hear, yeah. Okay, give me a second. E. Better. Don't burst my ears, uh, nuts, uh, ears. Let's hope not. Uh, nuts, uh, ears, uh, nuts. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So. It's no, not November. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not participating. I'm participating. You participated and... last year, and you, you, you said that you oh. didn't fail. Okay. Yes, but I really like cashews. Damn. So, last we left off, uh, you fought the sergeant um, victoriously, um, getting him basically to surrender. Um, investigated uh, the warehouse, which was been looted. Uh, questioned the sergeant about the whereabouts of what he was doing there. And of course, took him in back to Eek. Uh, to the garrison, to the barracks, where he was essentially uh, taken to, or I guess walked himself to uh, the captain of the guard, then explained the situation that someone, some fey creatures probably are stealing the supplies and carrying off to the forest, never to be seen again. Uh, no real reward was gained from that. As Valentine had a brilliant idea to, I guess, 
interact with the, the other prisoner that he intimidated to stay by a name of Jockey. Uh, which he... Pokemon! First, yeah, yes. Which he didn't want it to die, so he was very motivated to give you, you some sort of lead. And he did offer you, in a few hours, uh, one of the drop spots that is about a day's journey away from Eek towards northeast, which you gladly took, hoping for some supplies and whatnot. So the next day, you gather some supplies, bought a simple hat for Joke, set out on a giant road. Thing was uneventful for most, except spotting a giant uh, mole creature or something furry that can dig very fast, very deeply. You completely avoided that encounter and that interaction entirely. Um, and I don't want to be GPK, let's be honest here. And then, uh, a few hours later, you stumbled upon a ragtag group of bandits, which <laughs> they tried to uh, get uh, a toll of some sorts to get some money from you, but they got a very quick and sudden death. Valentine, you spotted one of those bandits by an uh, individual by the name of Goat, as he introduced himself, um, who didn't participate in the fighting, and asked for, I guess, forgiveness, or just, just any way to leave, which you granted him this uh, parley of or guess a stay of execution. And you basically that's that's where you left off. So technically, it is somewhere about four ish PM. Sun still hanging up. You have the three dead corpses. Um one is fully getting consumed by Rosafitra as you speak. Um Yeah. What would you like to do? First of all Ew. <laughs> I mean, it's already daily, like, it, it's happening all the time. <laughs> but yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I feel like I kind of took the reins a lot last time, so I'm gonna let you guys... Yeah. yeah. I mean, we're I heading over to the whole Valentine treasure stash, right? Yeah. That's the that's the plan. Well, then yeah, we just we just continue on our travels then. Yeah, yeah. I mean. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Okay. So, so, so question. The the consumption of human flesh. Um, it's slow, because there's a lot of it. Question, are you going to try to get everything or just take one for the road? Um, depends. Are people going to give me enough time to get everything? Um, I mean, I won't stop you until I look like, man, you're scary. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if people are waiting for me, then I'm taking everything. <laughs> It would take about 10 additional minutes for you to get everything off the ground, into your stomach, and into nothing. Yeah, yeah, like, like I said, I'm, uh, I'm hacking off, uh, like, limbs and stuff with a sicker to make it easier to swallow them. Mm. Ew. Yeah. So, uh, I guess one of you roll me d10 for your final step of the journey towards this stash potentially who knows maybe not maybe yes oh Oof. valentine has rolled gg turn so, i'm out um three more hours pass traversing it's it's slowly but surely going towards dusk the winds are calm and um, nothing have you spotted on the road no travelers no passerbys nor any threats from the fields or the tree lines to your left or to your right and about, about three hours in all of a sudden jock kind of still walking forward 
confidently, but occasionally um, looking at his chest, seeing that there is just a massive uh, rend of tissue that is just red, where it was just bleeding out. Um, and then all of a sudden, about oh, three hours in, as you're all kind of just been walking for about eight, nine hours, tired, and it's getting late, exhaustion on the horizon, all of a sudden, the man in front of you, Jock, just whistles and starts a running, pointing finger at, um, in the tree line, and looking at you, Valentine, giving this, uh, uh, ushering motion with his, uh, hand. That way! That way! Are you sure? He nods. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Just, just a bit into the forest, there is a lot of, uh, giant boulders there. As he kind of jumps down the road into the slight slope, into the grassy plains, and just kind of, not like runs, like full sprint, but kind of being a bit faster. Okay. So, who's gonna follow? Who's gonna stay? Or is anybody have any? Well, I'm gonna follow Jockey. You might as well follow. Yeah, he's, he's our guide here. We follow. I trust. We all follow. All right, roll perception checks, everybody. Oh no. <laughs> It's kind of hard to roll with, with a chicken tenny in my hand. Wait a second. <laughs> oh, sorry. This is disadvantage. <laughs> Just kidding. Is that right? Oh. Ooh. I'm too full to look around. Oh, Shouldn't no. Shouldn't have eaten this much. <laughs> oh, my God. So... You got to be cannibal. Oh, wait, right. Your plasma is not cannibalism for you. I was about to say it. <laughs> I, I so, think it's a pretty normal diet for me. <laughs> everybody except for Petra, who's kind of stuffed. Um, you, you follow, you follow, of course, Jackie. I'd be maybe 10, 15 feet behind him because he just was ahead. Uh, looking around, you see that this grass has been tampered with. It's been walked through, moved through. Something heavy, um, as Ural and Dionia, you can see heavy deep wagon uh marks stay in the grass uh but it it doesn't seem like it's it's been recent as maybe two weeks but not as recent as maybe a week so they're fresh but not extremely uh this place has been walked through and there's like no civilization no houses no, nothing this is just Barren, well, not barren, but just wild territory. But there has been traffic here. As yeah, I tell this my, I tell this my comrades if they don't notice themselves. I guess Valentine, oh no, no, Valentine, Resifitra, you're informed about this. Ah yes, um, still pretty stopped. I would like to um, start uh, tasting the air. Um, as in, I would like to ritual cast uh, detect magic as we walk along. <laughs> um, she like tentacles and her tongue like in the air, like. <laughs> 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 All right. So, uh, but yeah, it takes a good two minutes to go to the tree line. Additional minute into it, and yeah, you spot all of a sudden in the tree line a bunch of mossed over boulders, maybe seven, eight foot tall making this almost like a makeshift cave or just Actually, I guess, or just 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 a nice formation of structure that seems to be covered in moss and jockey just kind of seeing in front of him uh, in front of you basically walks in and starts pushing the moss away and at the beginning it seemed like three four feet of entrance turns into like eight six feet entrance um mm -hmm. and you all of a sudden you hear a trap door just swing open inside of this uh boulder formation as jockey kind of walks out all excitedly looks at you valentine points at uh but see you all can see is 
a wooden trap door that was overlaid with moss put on to basically disguise it what it is um as he kind of points this there uh it's not deep it's like 20 feet and there's uh stuff uh don't know just uh stuff and uh oh yeah, yeah. um and then he kind of uncovers some of the moss valentine and makes you like kind of points at it and it says Haley glitter or hail glitter whatever uh and he kind of taps this uh, sigil uh valentine could you describe your uh family sigil or you know uh, my family sigil looks like a pitchfork with two handles. Yeah, and it literally is this this nice embedded into stone with this almost like charcoal burnt um, method. There's the stamp of your just sigil. Mm. We got the main character for today. <laughs> I don't like being the main character. Uh, but we get to kill something. Uh, no. Well, I, put, I, I look. I look down the hole from the trap door, mm -hmm. and I say, "So this is it, huh?" He kind of shrugs. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what's inside. I haven't been here, and uh, gonna count a bit. About a week, two, one and a half. How many people are usually down there? Uh. When it's active, six, seven, but uh, he kind of points the darkness. Uh, no torches are lit, so no one is inside. No one's inside, huh? He shrugs. Do I yeah. taste any magic? This feels sus. Uh, Very sus. You have, you have, uh, uh, roll me, roll me per uh, perception, Mr. Fisher, because you have to detect magics. Uh. Oh, 11. Nice, nice. Could you just uh, quickly do me an arcana check? As you see nothing in the darkness except for what seems to be a small string of magic just glowing. Wow, my roles mm. today are glorious. <laughs> um, I think you're feeling like an 11 today. <laughs> I mean, on a scale of 1 to 10, I am an 11. Um, but this is 1 <laughs> to 20. Plus. Well. You. <laughs> well. Oh no. You know, okay. you, you, can, you can see that it, it's some sort of conjuration spell that, that is in a shape of a line, but you don't really know what it is. It's It seems to be at the bottom of this um, drop, and it seems to be conveniently placed, so if somebody, like, casually climbs down, they would trigger it, walk into it. Us. Extremely sus. Are we relayed this information? The air tastes like the ring we found earlier. Hmm. <laughs> Jackie, you said you hadn't been here for a couple of weeks, right? Mm -mm -mm. He, he nods. Well, how do we get in? Uh, Is there a way down? A rope? A ladder? Uh, usually we bring a ladder. Uh, let me check. And then he kind of, nice he kind of, he kind of goes to, um, like forty feet away. He just kind of wanders off for a bit, and he brings out, after some tugging with bushes, what seems to be a very basic ladder, that seems to be maybe 15, 20 feet long. As he kind of struggles to get it out by himself, because it's not very easy to get by himself. Well, I mean, I can help him. Yeah, yeah, but True. yeah. I was also about to say, like, I'll, I'll help him. Yeah, without All any right. hassle. So yeah. we're gonna, we're gonna fish the ladder down there. Mm -hmm. And then once it's, uh, once it's in place, I'm gonna pat Jockey on the back and say, all right. 
Mm-hmm. Go on. Uh-huh. Uh, he kind of looks at you. <laughs> uh, could I get a source of light? Or, uh... Oh, yeah. Um, who's got, uh, a, who's I got have, a torch? Have a torch? Uh, I have the cantrip light. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Does someone have, like, a stick or something? Well, I mean, there's plenty of stones. Yeah, branches. I mean, we're in a forest. <laughs> yeah, in the forest. Okay, I, 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 would the grab, like, a random, I would grab a random stick and cast light on it. Like, my cantrip. Okay. okay. So, um, light stick. I hand it to a jockey and the, here, here, here you go. Yeah, it, br- it shines bright in your hands and in jockey's hands as he kind of nods and walks down. And Recifitra, okay, for all of you, you can see when it's getting, like, beamed down, you realize that it's, uh, it's mainly mud or just dirt, but you see that there are, uh, pillars, uh, foundations set up made of wood. So this is not, like, a one-off place. This is well built for a specific purpose. And you see several tables... Uh, several chairs, uh, a bed or two, just while he's walking, like, climbing down. Um, and then he walks through the threshold recipitra, that little line. As he walks through it, all of a sudden the, the threshold, the, the little line just vanishes into s- this uh, smoke and disappears entirely. Um, as jo- Jokel climbs down to the very bottom, uh, looks around a bit, kind of using the lighted pub- pebble or branch as a torch of sorts, looks back up at you and says, uh, not much is here. And he starts kind of walking off from your vision. Um, hmm. And then a few seconds later, he just says, oh, there is a map. And, uh, Bottles and cloth. Well, uh, he didn't immediately die when he went down to the bottom, so shall we go investigate? Yeah, let's go the down. The taste is gone. Yes. The taste is. Do you think Are we it... sure this isn't some kind of trap, though? Uh. Sabitra yeah, says there was magic here a moment ago, and now it's gone as soon as he went back down. So now I am hesitant. Uh, I'll cast. Can I cast? I'll run back at this before sure. heading down. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Whoever's going to approach me, I'm going to thunderclap at this cheek. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Um, so, who going everyone first? Everyone who's a fi- in a range of five feet of me. Uh, are you, are you thunderclapping now? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you just break the ladder. I just say that to my party. I just say that to the party. Okay. Um, we're quick, you said conjuration, right? Yeah. Um. Well, oh, you know what? Recipitra, roll me another perception check. Another? I'm, I'm kind of confused. Like, out of character, I thought it might be uh, an alarm spell, but that's abjuration. Oh. Anyway, uh, perception, here you go. Ooh, yes. So, uh, you know, as you're like, huh. This is, this is odd, you know, like, you see everything is fine, the line is gone, and, you know, as, I guess, Valentine, it would be the first to go, or whatever, you look around, just kind of eye again the surroundings, and you see on the tree, a birch tree maybe 10 feet away from you, on its branches, several translucent spectral crows, just covered, or I guess, Exuding conjuration magic with gleaming white eyes stare at you. Are we gonna get like, are we spied on? Like, can people spy on us? Only Recipitra sees that. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm just asking out of character. <laughs> These bursts taste weird, and I try to determine I would like to. Uh... How do you taste these birds if they're not- what, what, what birds? That's. And I would like to, uh, cast an identify spell at them. Uh, is it an identify touch? 
Yes. Uh, right. so I'm, well, I'm they're, trying they're... to touch them. Oh, you're going to try <laughs> to touch them. Uh, roll oh. me a <laughs> dexterity check. Just a straight dexterity check. Sorry. Okay. So all of a sudden, you you you, you kind of sling towards the birch tree and kind of slowly climb up using your your gelatinous form, and the birds seem not to be phased at all, still looking at you. And then you come to the branch and you snatch one of them immediately to identify, while the rest of them immediately just scatter in all directions. There were about uh, five birds who caught one, and the rest four just kind of scattered in all direction, north, east, south, west. Uh, oh boy! <laughs> just roll me, roll me an Arcana check, an additional Arcana check on top of that. So, uh, do you do you let me like cast identify as a witch as I like slowly munch on the bird or do you want me to use this spell slot? Yeah, that would be a spell slot. You you can just you got to you got to be holding it. So, yeah. Alrighty. In that case, roll me arcana check. Okay, spell slot and arcana check. While this is happening, who's going down first to the basement or to the trap? I'll volunteer myself because I can, okay. you know, magically protect myself. Mm -hmm. I don't trust it. I'm going to stay up top and, and see what happens. <laughs> okay. I'm a warlock. I'm scared and, uh, yeah. Okay, no. I'll uh, go down. So I'll watch Recifitra lick the bird for a moment. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm watching what Recifitra is doing because so, from my perspective, she's yeah. just like yeah, she's busting about at a tree with nothing. Yeah, she she kind of snatches air for a second. And as you c catch the bird and you identify, all of a sudden, uh, your entire body becomes numb. As all of a sudden, you feel the bird in front of you disappear into a fog of smoke, and through it, you see six or seven satyr um, that are idling in the tree line somewhere you've never been before waiting for something and you see one of them just all of a sudden eyes perk up uh to the sky and it gives a whistle a sharp whistle and gives a specific direction through uh the specific direction just points and you see the rest of the satyr leaving him behind just start running um uh, you, my good, my good Resifitra, know that this spell is called Razur's Conjured Um, as, yeah, you, you, you saw a satyr command other satyrs to go somewhere immediately, and the vision just fades, and the bird in your grasp just dissipated. Uh, Feyren, on the other hand, as you made your yeah. way down, uh, it's, it's smelly, it's earthy, uh, it's, smelly. it's maybe 40 by 50 feet of space. You see a handful of tables, everything, and you see, uh, Jockey is just kind of, um, perusing a chest that has been open and she's just seemingly grabbing a bunch of loincloth and linen out of a chest seeing if he can find anything um by all means looks like this could be livable by a handful of people but it's empty not abandoned just empty and no threat can be seen Uh, I might as well just head back up the, the ladder. Is it a ladder or was it rope? Ladder. It was, yeah, I'm just going to head up the ladder. I'm not too... Uh, while he's uh, like climbing around, uh, right, so Fitra, like hangs from a branch of the tree on like one tentacle, turns to the rest of the party and is like, uh, 
still like munching a bit, even though there's nothing uh, there. Uh, I just found some weird birds. They tasted like magic and they disappeared when I tried to bite them. Also, I saw some weird sailors that had it very. that seemed to be in a hurry to get somewhere. Um, oh. I do I think, think you had birds too much. From them. Uh, I think you had too much of, you know, human meat. I think it sounds like we triggered a trap. Yeah, I think we might have. <laughs> so these satyrs, they were watching us and waiting for us to go in there. And now they're on their way here to attack us. That Which means they it. set a trap? They set a trap for human beings to... Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> We're going to sit right here, and we're going to kill the satyrs. But how did the satyrs know about the treasure hole thing? Because it was, like, hidden, right? Oh, wait. That's kind of sus. Jockey has betrayed us. Mm, that better not be true, for Jockey's sake. But yeah, Faerun is, is... Are you still in the hole? Um, yeah, he's no, still no, in the... No, no, I climbed back out. Well, no, I climbed back yeah, out. Yeah, Jockey is still in the hole, but then he kind of uh, wanders back up to the ladder, looks up, and just starts climbing up. Um, not much, uh, empty beds, empty chest, I mean, there's cloth, dirty cloth, and then Valentine, he gives you, uh, this, this little big ass fucking parchment, uh, what seems to be a map of just Fala, the entire of it, you see it's very... You know what? Roll me, roll me an insight check, Valentine. Everyone? Uh -oh. oh. Yeah. Magical birds taste interesting. What a shame that they just disappear if you try to eat them. <laughs> oh, oh shit! Nice. Otherwise, I would uh, love to eat some more magical spy birds. You, you look at this map and you realize well, most maps are very basic, very generic. As in, they show the very basics where they need to go, the roads and all that. There's no illustrations because illustrations cost a shit ton of money. This is fully illustrated uh, with artwork and just a lot of a lot of detail put in this map. And it's in color as well, which means this map is expensive by all means. Not to mention that it shows the entire region that you're in. Uh, additionally, with passive uh, perception, you see that there are small little red dots marked around the map um, with cro well, X's. You don't know what they mean. The map doesn't give any context, but you got yourself the map of the region, and uh, yeah. As he kind of hands the map to you, as he kind of climbs up and then climbs out entirely. Uh, Some of these X's are extremely like spread apart. He sh <laughs> he, he shrugs. I don't know. I just Jackie, Jackie. He kind of looks at you. You know this map's about. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, you got a, a a big map for uh, the people who come and go. Uh, I don't really know. It's Are just... you guessing? He nods immediately. Okay, don't guess. That doesn't help. Hmm. You say squat. I would okay. like oh. to look for more birds to eat. Uh, there are natural birds hanging higher in the branches. Nothing magical can be seen at all. I will try to eat one of them. Aren't you full? You just ate a huge whole person. <laughs> stop! I, I grab I grab her tentacles. Like stop! Stop! You you had enough. Stop! Okay. Hammer time! We're very unconcerned about the potential of the satyrs. Oh, I'm concerned. I'm just I'm just real quick before we deal with that. Jockey. He looks at Do you. Say, if I told you satyrs were coming, would that surprise you? He seems petrified. Where? I don't know. I was hoping you would know. 
he, he seems generally even passive, even passive insight from Valentine. You realize that the, the the kid gets immediately petrified by the thought of satyrs. Not like, oh, oh god, I'm I got found out. Oh, more like, oh god, satyrs. <laughs> um, <laughs> as he's like, uh, uh, do we do we hide? Do we fight? Uh, well, really just Valentine's disciple. <laughs> I considered staying and fighting, but I don't know how many there are, and. Running Just... to, running away seems like a bad idea because ooh, I don't know ooh, which direction they're coming seek. from. <laughs> Does Resurfecture remember how many there are? Well, technically, what? she should. How many were there? Uh, I think like five? Mm hmm. How do I know how strong satyrs are in general? Um. Or how dangerous they are? Yeah, how concerned would Valentine be? Fuck it. Roll me, roll me either uh, nature or. I'm history. very concerned. Nature or history. Uh, let me grab my what my stats. Uh, so, uh, plus three. Okay. Uh, Bruh. What, guys, what, what if what if we play hide and seek with the satyrs? We may By have way, to. They will never see us coming. Oh, I Dude. see. An ambush. It's not a bad idea. We could also just go down the hole and like funnel them towards us. You mean go down the hole where somebody could just like toss an alchemist fire and burn us alive in a tiny oven? Is that... No, no, Will I think we should, we should... Can... Yeah, I could do that. No, don't do that. <laughs> no, no, um... we should, like, maybe, like, in, like, one, like, two people hide together and then the rest okay. of the Okay, so, Valentine, you rolled, you rolled nature or history? Uh, history. History. Okay, so, you, you know that satyrs are the creatures of fae. Uh, they're mostly seen as neutral, they can be friendly or can be hostile. Most of the time, if they are friendly, you can see them. If they're hostile, you'll never see them coming. But, with such high history of 17, you realize that nature, the forest is their playground. The, uh, the forest are their natural habitats. They can easily adapt and basically slink in them unnoticeably. Somewhere where it's barren or, you know, has no foliage, no cover, that's where it is most opportune to fight a satyr. So technically, on the road where it's all bland, dirty, and you can see anywhere, that's an optimal vantage point. If you need to fight one. That what you, that's what you get with a 17. How much of that are you going to relate to us? I, I relay the whole thing. I, I, I give you guys the full rundown of what I know. That's if it just bits out of tinderbox. So we should probably find a clearing as soon as possible. And uh, hold it up. And it's like, clearing? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um... <laughs> ah, create a clearing with a fire. <laughs> I think this is a very bad idea. In I the forest. Very good uh, idea. Jo Jockey says, well, we can just go back on the road and, I mean, that's a clearing, right? Yeah, I suppose that is also a clearing, and it's also high ground. That, well, All then, for going back to the road. Yeah, at least we don't burn the fucking forest, man. <laughs> that's <laughs> There's lots of desert. You can have a forest. tiny forest fire as a tree. No, as no, tree. no, not not even a tiny one. <laughs> a tree. Oh. It's a bit more just like her best impression of dark eyes. Not even a tiny one. Oh. I give I give not her yet. a leaf. I give her a leaf. You can burn that. <laughs> she went. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like a tiny child, it reminds me when I was a child, like, with a lighter. 
just burning random leaves. Oh no. Okay. So yeah. you, ma you make your way back on arson. the road, I assume, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This casual arson, exactly. Um, so, uh, in that case, um, uh, yeah, you make it back on the, on the road, you look around, everything is familiar, nothing, nothing has changed, you don't see any, anyone or anything running at you at Mac 2 or 10, um, everything is quiet, what would you like to do? Hide. Well, there's nowhere really to hide on the open road. Alright. Mm. I wish I had invisibility, man. I uh, I, I could cast, um... I could cast. Wait, let me, let me, let me, let me read the spell again before it sells something I, 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 stupid. I could, I could cast, full stop. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> I yes. could ma do magic. Mm, I see, I see. Well, uh, what's the fit when we continue to uh, taste the air for magic? Uh, I have, like, protection from evil and good. Like, I could give it to someone. I see. Oh. oh, I have that too. Yeah, we could, like, cast it on our front line. Well, that would be smart. Mm. How many spell slots do you guys have? Two. <laughs> I mean, I'm a warlock. Was... I'm a warlock. Yeah. Thy also has just two. So... I mean, I would appreciate it if we don't. I mean, I'm pretty tanky. I'm a tanky. I'm a tanky lad. Tanky tiny lad, yeah. Tanky child. <laughs> Alrighty. So, what is the plan with good people? What is the plan? It is. I it could is... be the bait. It is the bait. It is dusk. Sun is slowly setting towards the sun west. is setting. Mm -hmm. We're on the map. Where on the map are we right now? Uh, looking at the map. Looking at the map, uh, you see uh, Eek. Um, oh, oh god, do I need to tell you where? It, to the south side, uh, just just uh, just above the volcano, you see Eek. Uh, and you're in the northeast path towards uh, what you assume is uh, Platus. You don't know where it is. Well, I mean, how long? So we're between have... Torx Fall and Platus. Uh, no, no, you're between Eek and Platus. I see. Yeah. So, you know, Eek is back the way you came, a day journey back, or about nine hours. You don't know how long it is till Platus. Might be closer, okay. might be far. So here's my thought. Here's my thought. We know they're coming, right? So let's continue towards Platus and just keep walking. Understanding that we will very the understanding that we're very likely going to be ambushed somewhere on the somewhere along the way. And if we're not, then we make it to Platus and hopefully find refuge there. Thoughts. That sounds good. Mm. I, guess I guess we're going to have to deal with it eventually. Yeah, I think this is a bridge we just have to cross when we come to it. Yeah. Okay. I will follow Dianea. I will follow Dianea. Should we travel like, <laughs> I don't know, with Valentine at the front, me at the back, when... and then like the squishies in the middle? That's probably a good idea. Yeah. I'm squishy. So... I'm very squishy. <laughs> you've been, I mean, you've squishy been... than the fucking slime, trust me. You've been traveling for about nine hours, and if you travel more, exhaustion is of course a thing that you will get. So question, mm. are you gonna travel more? I guess maybe we could... Well, they know about the hole. I don't know, could we like, seal it off somehow? And then rest there? Honestly, there wasn't anything of value in the hole. If they want to go down there and hassle whoever's living in that hole, it's no skin off my nose. Well, Cause otherwise we're gonna have to sleep. We're gonna have to fight them, maybe. We're all, like sleep deprived and tired. Don't you leave uh, the skin on your nose? No. Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> uh, can we like do like? 
Does the slime need to sleep? Probably. Yes. We can, hmm. like, do, like, shifts of, like, watching. Well, nobody's stopping me. Well, the others, do... like, take a nap or something. Mm -hmm. You could. If only we had some kind of conjured creature that could keep watch while we were resting. I mean, that's I basically eat those. Jackie. Mm -hmm. He kind of looks. Mm -hmm. He kind of looks at you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's the plan? I mean, I I would like rest, you know. Because... Do we have like maybe an illusion? I have, I guess I have an illusion or something we can use to bar the hole while we rest. I feel like that seems um, safe, no. maybe. I, I don't have anything like that. Oh, How oh. about each of us just looks for two hours if uh, someone shows up? Okay. Yeah, that was, that was what I was... I, I, what do you mean? I was saying that! No, 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 no. I was just wanted to see my options first. If there was something here. Everyone's ignoring me. No. I am so smart with my original idea. <laughs> Fuck you! I'm supposed to have more spells, but I'm I'm not finding them. So give me one sec. <laughs> anyway, what is the decision? Who? Are what's the order of the shift? Like, of the uh, shift? Big, are there any like big stones around? Nope. It's it's literally clear skies, and you can see the stars and a half moon rising. Oh, stones. Oh! Big stones around. Wait, how large was we speaking? Large enough that I can uh, sleep on it. Yeah, several feet uh, wide, stone slabs, just random stones uh, that have been in the grasses. Perfect. I will get myself one of those stone slabs and I will... Uh... Visibly get wide so, on it. Put my, put my headset back on. Sorry. Okay, so I have a, I have a quick question. Huh? We wanted to add uh, flock of familiars to DNA's character sheet, but yeah. it's not in. It's not. It's not in the. Uh, the PDF uh, software. Hmm. Oh no. So is she actually allowed to have it? Probably not. Huh. Cause, cause I couldn't I couldn't see any reason why not when I was googling it. Hmm. Flock of Familiars? Yeah, I just went to DD 5e wiki dot and I looked at Warlock spell list and on second level there's a spell called Flock of Familiars. The well, source I think it's basically... might be from a uncommon book. Where is this from? Lost Lavatory uh, Qualish. Uh, third level you can actually get like it's familiar. Well, I'm not. But I have don't have that packed. I have packed off the chain. Talisman. I have talisman. Yeah. Wait, do, do spellcasters yeah. have access to third level spells at level three in five e? Oh no no for, if I no no no. No. Uh, block of block of familiar. When is I a... when I reach level three, I can use like I can get a, a, a pack. Yeah, so pack of like chain, pack of chain, pack of talisman, and pack of boom, pack of blade. Like yes. there's like some you can choose, and one of them is to get a familiar, I think. Yeah, so pack, yeah. pack, uh, pack. It doesn't really matter now. So what what pack that uh, Bunny took? Because pack uh, the the flock of familiars are a pack of the chain. Uh, yeah. No, um, Araxis, it's like, it's a spell from, like, a side book thing. Yeah. I just googled it. No, no, no. I'm no. guessing they did it. No, no, no. Flo mm. Flock, flock of, um, God damn it. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, God. Uh, Five flock, familiar. Flock of familiars are specific... The Pact of the Chain version of Fine Familiar. Is it? Oh. Yes. 
it, it gives you it gives you several familiars instead of one. I don't think so. I think it's just normal warlock spell from the warlock spell list. It is. Yeah, when I click on it, it doesn't say that there's any. Uh... I don't know why, but only only like only way you can truly part is by basically. But I don't know. It's... Well, I mean. Yeah, I think it's just that specific spells from a new book that's not been added to a PDF. I think that's just what's happened. Yeah, if it if it's if I if it's too complicated, it, it's a fine. You know, like, I don't need it. You know. <laughs> okay. Mm. Mm. It also wouldn't help much anyway, since uh, it only has a duration of one hour, which is not enough for a long rest. Uh, I guess that's true. True. Womp womp. Womp womp. Pain. So yeah, uh, like I said, Ritzafitra seems to have have it very comfortable on that stone slab as uh, she slowly uh, widens and uh, gets smaller, like in height. <laughs> uh, yeah, she just like hugs the stone with her matter. <laughs> can you change color? Like maybe you can like. <laughs> When you're sl when you're sleeping. Maybe you can maybe you can t turn green and then you're uh, like. I'm not a chameleon. I'm a slime. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been funny though, you know. I mean, I can, but I have to equip the right spell for it. To turn green. Good. For an hour. So why are you blue custom. then? <laughs> why are you blue? Because blue is superior. Excuse me. God damn you! <laughs> blue is pretty boring to me. Why you're not purple? Ural, that's kind of that's kind of insensitive to ask why your sifter is blue. Come on. Yeah. Why, why, yeah, but she said she could change color, so I thought maybe something in her spells okay. tell, says okay. like, okay, she's blue. So now. okay, so you're all gonna camp out. Who's gonna be first to watch over the rest of you? Maybe the one that ha does not have like night 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 vision. Oh, oh, that's night smart. Vision. That's the fit was already asleep. Fuck! <laughs> well, Jackie... Wait, do we trust Jackie to keep watch by himself? No. Mm. I can, like... I can... Yeah, I can, like, watch first. But you have dark vision, no? I do have dark vision. I think Wait, Valentine... Cannot... I think, I think Valentine have... doesn't. Cause he's... Yeah, yeah, Valentine and Jack can, can maybe take the first one. Uh, but we need to wait because, uh, about... Oh, we can, we can hear that name. Hmm. <laughs> Throw Valentine's <laughs> mic. Let's go. Oh, no. So, in that case... You stepped out of the room one sec, sorry. Yeah, it's fire. Roll me, roll me a perception check, you're all then. Wait. Just what do you mean? If you're gonna go first. Yeah, but, but we didn't decide yet. Oh, well. No, you're, you're, you're not going first. Wait. Yeah, okay, give me a second. I'll be right back then. Decide. Okay. Huh? Did he, did he even listen? I th I think he was confused. It's cause I think he is he is suffering because it's no not November. <sighs> so how's your run going? Who? You. Oh um, I mean I I don't very often any anyway so Sorry i'm not about that one sec <laughs> <laughs> okay, i'm I'm not, de I'm not deliberately partaking but i have not failed let's put it like that all right what's happening we're discussing we, uh... no, not november <laughs> yes. we have dark vision Oof. i have a valentine <clears throat> well it sounds like we were gonna have to just um Oh, right, uh, we were saying, because most of us have dark vision, but because you're human, I don't think you do, so you and Jackie could do a first shift, and then, because it's not yet dark, right? And then once it gets dark, the people with dark vision take over. That is perfectly acceptable. Okay, in, okay. That, in yeah. that case, Valentine, roll me with uh, perception with advantage, because you got Jockey by your side assisting you. <gasps> also, while everybody's resting... <laughs> By a rock, is there is there anything around that you wish to do besides observe the surroundings? Yes, uh while we are while we are on lookout, 
I'm going to attempt to teach Jockey how to throw darts. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, roll me a performance check for that. <laughs> it makes me sad that I have zero performance because like not, like 90% of using a whip as a weapon are the tricks. Yeah. I, I do I do just imagine you're like, hey kid, you wanna learn how to, how to play darts? <laughs> hey bro, yeah. watch this. <laughs> watch this. <laughs> yeah. So um I mean, it did the two, like, you have, of course, the natural surrounding of everything, seeing if all is good. And, yeah, no no problem, no hostilities, but also nothing on the road, no friendlies. Um, and you practice, uh, with Jockey, the art of the dart throwing for, I guess, the two hours. Um, uh, picking out the target in the grass or in the brushes or occasional tree and uh yeah uh by the end of two hours you you imagine that jockey understands the basics of how to operate and use a dart operate a dart <laughs> yes good good he knows well enough operate. Yes. Give me the yeah so <laughs> but this time it's of course dark um and, but it's middle of the summer, or I guess the beginning of the summer, so it's warm, and you don't even need a fire. Um, and uh, who's going to be next after Valentine and Jockey? Did we choose some? I don't think we actually chose someone, so isn't Valentine just going to decide who to wake up? Oh yeah, now I yeah. have to just decide. Yeah. <laughs> so Who will he wake up? Yeah, who of these individuals is going to wake up that none of them are human? <laughs> Mm. The are human. <laughs> the telltale <Okay>. choice. <laughs> Who is the most trustworthy? I'm just saying I'm half human here. Human. I'm also half human. I still <laughs> have a few bones on oh, my Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> what do you? What do you? Huh? Okay, so I'm gonna wake up Farron. Uh huh. What? What's hey. going on? You're up. But uh, oh. Okay. I gotta sleep. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy. Thank you. Um, okay, I, I guess I'll just sit outside. Uh, Have I regained my like spell slots and stuff? Like, yeah. does no. it count as a? At, at not the yet. End of the long no. Um, oh, right. So roll okay. me a perception check. Baron. Okay. Oh no, not the perception checks! You know, you never Are know you... what you might spot. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> blind! He is blind! <laughs> Probably not so much. Um, do, do I see anything? Blind. You see, you see absolutely nothing. And you know what? Okay. Just because it's you, I'm gonna say the reason why you don't see anything is for the most of the time you were looking at the ground. <laughs> I, no, I was praying I have my eyes closed. That's why. <laughs> I, I, I like the version uh, more that you are just too bashful to look up, like too shy. Oh my you god! Yourself too. <laughs> oh my god! My Oshi Valentine w woke me up. It was. I, I, I was... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh no, I was, I just, I was I just, asking I just, stupid questions. Oh no, this is so awkward. And, uh... I just, I just realized. But Baron... look at how cute he looks while he sleeps. Yeah, Baron, 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 Baron basically was basically covering his eyes in shame because Valentine Senpai noticed him for two hours. Oh, look how manly Valentine is. What an. <laughs> <laughs> in, his, in, his, in his armor and oh, this no. wonderful Power. feather on his helmet. And I am the, I am the peak of human racism. maleness. I wish he would be racist towards me. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Baron, 
But besides you blushing over Valentine or Comrade, not a, nothing, nothing, you know, puncture you with arrows or swords or anything. Uh, what, what, who else would you wake up, Baron? Uh, what is Oshi? <laughs> I'll wake up Euro. Okay. Oh yeah, Pog. Thank you very much. I, I, I'm sorry. No, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Just continues apologizing for the next half hour. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Uriel, roll me a perception check. As it's dead Ooh, fucking... I thought I prepared this one. Jesus <laughs> <laughs> Christ! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> We're all blind. So, so Uriel, when are, you, when are you gonna tell us that the that the Faron was your senpai all this time? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy. Uriel, First of all... You were no. just distracted by uh, Farron's apologies for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He talks in his sleep and he's like, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I, I imagine you don't even understand what is the concept of like guarding something or looking around. You're just like, I would just sit looking down. I just sleep. I just <laughs> sleep. <laughs> you know what? Fuck you it. Like, you you like sleep. wake up and you just nap. <laughs> You just... I just I just closed my eyes for a second, okay? <laughs> you're like you're like you just like kind of sleep, and it all of a sudden, oh fuck, wait, 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 um, looks around, everybody's still alive, breathing. Uh, you basically <laughs> slept for two hours. What would you like to do, Euro? You're gonna wake up someone else? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna like go to Diana and be like, hey, wake up! It's it's uh, your your turn. Oh, okay. Yeah, just don't fall asleep. Of course not. <laughs> what do yeah. I look like, a big idiot? Uh, no. Anyway, good night. Perception check. Good night. Okay, oh, perception. God, this roll was so embarrassing. <laughs> oh my god. It's the half human curse. It's the half human curse. Exactly. I actually have dark vision, but I'm actually. You guys no. should have woken me up then. I can spit out the half of the human anytime I want. Oh, boy. That's not what we mean! <laughs> that is not... You stinky! Uh-oh. Oh, stink. Ooh. Wow. And the, uh, the, uh... Oh my god. So, the Ania. Hours pass without an incident. Looking around, minding your own business. Dusk besets from the east slowly but surely is there anything you would be doing in the meantime besides of course uh observing looking at stuff i'm eating a biscuit shuffling my cards looking around keeping my ears sharp mm -hmm. so, not sleeping just like me you know so here's an interesting <laughs> thing somewhere around what you see maybe an hour and three quarters in sun is you can see the very first like actual resemblance of the sun to the east shining through uh it's it's a bit chilly but it's warm it's getting a bit misty and then you just see looking above the clear sky the the shift from the starry night into the early morning and then you see a giant flying creature above, flying from east to west. Very high up, just a simple spot, but a massive creature. What Is it natural... coming towards us? Nope, it's simply flying above all of you. You would guess maybe a mile or even higher above you. Completely disregarding what's above. You assume with a natural 20 that either either it's a wyvern or maybe a dragon, an adult one. A dragon? Oh no. That reminds me of this one meme. I wouldn't like, does it does it seem like it's noticed us or is it just nope. kinda going about its no, business? It, it seems to go from east to west, way up in the sky. And it seems to be just slowly but surely making its way away from you. Okay, I guess I I let it I quietly let it leave then. I don't <laughs> want to draw attention to us. You get away this time, dragon. 
<laughs> Next time you will end up in a Sophitra's belly. Oh no. Oh no. Mm. But yeah, um, the two hours have passed and technically all of you have achieved uh, the longest. So technically, yeah. Danny, whenever you want, you can wake up your companions or you can let them sleep. It's up to your discretion. Okay, I guess when it's time, I, w I wake them all up. Mm -mm. Well, then one by one, all of you are waking up by Danny, huh? And the, the warm, misty environment of the grass by the highway. It's calm, the winds are warm and slow. Ah, oh, I had a long resting sleep. <laughs> uh, I would like to uh, do two things as part of the long rest. Mm -hmm. um, a, I would like to produce an alchemist's kit made out of uh, the slime that makes up my body with the right tool for the job. You should have you said bones of the humans, <laughs> that'd be better. <laughs> oh god. But then, but then it wouldn't be explainable that I have to dissolve them again. True. So yeah, uh, right tools for a job. One alchemist kit, please. And then I will use one of the flasks of the alchemist kit to produce my first experimental elixir. Time to roll. Ooh. Oh boy. Oh. He's making drugs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, second. Uh, oh boy. So six. I, I, um, I yeah. Seemingly, uh, like when everyone wakes up, seemingly very busy with uh, slimy, uh, like uh, basically. Petri dishes and other uh, glass uh, contraptions. Uh, Red Sofibra seems to uh, distill some kind of fluid. And with like a very petty look at uh, Euro, she uh, downs it in one go and turns purple. <laughs> hey, yo! Wait, what? <laughs> I know. Euro is pogging right now. Pog! <laughs> I see. Yeah, I can do it. Blue is more beautiful, though. Ah. Now the question is, why are you blue? Are your parents blue, or...? I don't have parents. Yeah, how do slimes reproduce? Yeah, that's a good question. Like, how do you do that? I don't know, I just kind of woke up My division? Day. My toast at this moment. So, you don't know why you're blue. Okay, great. Yes, but blue is the superior color anyway. Nope. I, I doubt. Blue like the sky. Mm -hmm. Blue is very pretty. The sky can yes. have many colors, it's not just blue. Mm -hmm. But blue is the best one. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Did anyone see anything during the night? Uh, no. Oh, I did. No, no. Oh. What did you see? I saw a giant flying monster overhead, but it didn't see us. Oh. oh. Did it look tasty? Is that all? It Maybe it was a wyvern, or I guess it could have been a big dragon, too. I couldn't see that far. Oh. oh. Is that all? Are you being snippy with me? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> what do you mean with snippy? Very, very snippy attitude. And what are you snipping? <laughs> I don't have time to explain. I'm just... So Sorry. nobody saw satyrs. Nobody saw satyrs throughout the entire night. No, That's I didn't weird. see anything. Maybe Resvictor saw something different. Maybe she's just hallucinating. I was, was kind of hoping to cut my teeth on a satyr. Hmm. I know what I saw. Well, I believe Recifedra, but it's possible that we may have misinterpreted what was seen. 
I guess maybe they're not heading for us, but somewhere else. But where could they have gone? Oh, wait. Hmm. Nah. Is it possible they're going to one of these X's on this map? Are we going to visit every single X? <laughs> oh, God. I simply I do not it. want to. Oh, they're hiding in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I hold the map out and stand where everybody can like see over my shoulders. Uh-huh. Like I, I I kneel down. Because here you can see that beyond Platus, beyond Brothers Split, right before we get to Tyr uh, what was that, Tarung? Yeah. Yeah. Uh there's an X right there, but then there's also one down by Ash Baskets. It, if we if we investigated every single one of these X's, it would take us weeks. Let's split up. That's no. a terrible idea. <laughs> split the party. <laughs> the best, I, a best idea ever. Yeah. Papa. And our friend here doesn't know uh, what these X's indicate, so I think here's my here's my thought. Okay. We go to investigate the nearest one. And decide what we do from there. Seems reasonable. The closest one is to the north of Ash Baskets. Oh, are we going to Ash Baskets? Ash ba Baskets, yeah. That's is that where a problem? I'm. No, it's just where I'm from. Oh. Well, then you know the area. I wonder well, where I'm from. I just know there were a lot of trees. There, there are a lot of trees here as well, no? Yeah, the, <laughs> the map is covered in trees. My hope yeah, that is... That's the problem, right? I don't know which trees. <laughs> yeah, stuff. Ash basket. It's, it's, a, it's a long story. Um, we well, can, we you can, can go tell back. us on the way. Okay. So... We Here's the in. question. We can go to Platis, head south, and then circle around and get to Ash Baskets that way. Can I tell about how long that would take, uh, just from looking at the map? Uh, roll me an intelligence check. Uh, you get advantage, because you basically are, of course, with everybody. I mean, would there be anybody in the party that would know that? Better than I would. Uh, technically, I'm all pretty of... intelligent. Oh, never mind. That's a nat 20. <laughs> you're, you're... Okay. First of all, you realize something that immediately infuriates you. Somewhere between Shallow Dew and Elk Stone, above the Shallow Dew, the two Shallow Dews, uh, was your family's estate that is seemingly no longer on the map, which fucking infuriates... Is it on Shallow Dew? Hold on. Yeah, you see Shallow Dew just above Blur Brothers? Oh, yeah. Blood? Yeah, above that in the forest area, there was your home that you know, but it's not in the map anymore, so that kind of pisses you the fuck off. Um, second of all, you realize that uh, you could make it to Platus since you're, I guess, towards it. And to the south, you know that the Empire's... Okay, so a bit of history. Listen, you know that Emperor's Road are like the biggest road network in the world? And they're... Uh, 200 feet wide and stretches for thousands of miles. They're well maintained. Uh, basically, no signs or any potential for basically getting mugged or, you know, any incidents with banditry and whatnot. Very good roads. And you realize that they will be just very well and easily traveled. And then you can go uh, to the east towards Greystorm because there's this passage. And then south to Ash Basket. So, going to Platus would be faster than going back to. Uh, yeah. So, so how so how long would that take? Do you think it was uh, on foot? On foot. Hmm. You would get if you if you go on foot and you say take you know ten hours a day, you would take about ten days. Ten days. Yeah, it's it's a lot. Hmm. How long would it take if we cut straight through the forest? Uh, with, with that natural 20? 
you assume if, if this would be considered you just need to go south to reach the road maybe depending on where you are maybe you shorten the journey by two days three days uh, so i don't know if cutting through the forest I don't, I don't know if the risk of cutting through the forest is worth saving two days true uh do i know how dangerous the forest is or do we know uh intelligence check from i guess uh so you know uh valentine yourself just basically you know that the forest houses mainly beasts because you know you 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 know somewhat of these forests just the, the whole region uh the biggest threats that are natural are of course brown bears that wander in packs uh which pretty deadly if you taunt them but of course there's the interesting uh i guess a caveat of the fake creatures you know you know that there are satyrs you know that there are other evil creatures of the fey that might or might not linger in this section of the forest and with the fey well maybe they can be friendly which i mean that's tolerable or they can be straight out hostile which is of course bad what kind of what kind of town is platus is it like a big town uh you also know Platus is basically the bare essential, what you call a settlement. Several, like a good 20 or so buildings, and it's basically a checkpoint in the Emperor's Road. It has, if you remember correctly, because uh, you haven't been there in several years, technically since ever you left from your manor to look for your brother, you know that uh, it had an inn, it had a barracks, and it was basically the the bare essentials of a settlement to keep it going. It's nothing of interest or worthwhile. Okay. Maybe maybe something is new because you have been, have been bare in essentials in bear country pog. <laughs> fair, <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. As, uh, as All right. So what do you guys think? to head um it's a feed that kind of sits next to you guys not very importantly and slowly turns back to blue over the next 10 minutes <laughs> <laughs> so what do you guys think we can head down to ash baskets there's an x there there's an x up by shallow dew where hold on a second i, I stare at the map for a minute uh somebody took my estate off of this map oh no I suppose. Uh, mm. Well, I mean, I guess I, I guess it's been abandoned for well over a couple of years, so all's fair, I suppose. Question is, what happened to it? Like, is it still Didn't... there? Oh, it was raised. We raised it before I left, so it would have been. It would have been nice. I don't know. It would have been nice if somebody had like mentioned that it was there. Didn't Yaki say it was um, used by another Valentine? So maybe yeah. if Most it was, my brother. he wouldn't have it... gone back there, would he? Um... That would be the first. Jackie just kind of shrugs. He said, "Not to guess." I don't know. Okay, so we got shallow dew. We got ash baskets. They're about the same distance away from us, so. Ash Baskets is where Feyre is from. It is where I'm from. I can go... I know the area of Shallow Dew fairly well. Farron knows the area of Ash Baskets, so... I have no idea. What's a Shallow Dew? Shallow Dew is the name of the town. Well, Ash Baskets seem tastier. Do you think? When I went shallow, do I have no idea what that is? <laughs> um, I think that point. Well, uh, let's put it to a vote. I don't care either way. Okay. Same. Well, that does not help. Resvitra? Ash baskets, tastier. Farron? Because it's baskets. Um, 
I shall not uh, tell you the basis of my judgment for the secret <laughs> and shall not be disclosed any further. <laughs> I am. I'm, I'm neutral. All right, Dina. I guess we all want to go to Ash Basket, right? Then I suppose yeah. we're going to Ash Baskets. Let's go. Let's go. So you got you got several choices, I guess. Then crossing through this patch of forest, which you don't know what might lie within, but save you a bit of time. You can go to Platus, or you can go to Ravenstone's Crossbreed, where technically, uh, Valentine, you've been there. You've been a that isn't there for two years or so. Well, actually more, but you know. Mm. Which town did you say? Uh, Revenstone. You, like, the crossbreed, the, the place where you stayed as a... Oh, I see. Yeah. Hmm. I kind of up and ditch that place pretty hard. <laughs> All right, so let's go... Okay, so here's my thought. Yes. If we... If, if these X's indicate where the bandit hideouts are... And it's super obvious that we're heading in that direction. Mm. Then they'll probably just pack up and leave before we get there. So. That's true. I think we should. Isn't it strange that they left a map here? It's a feed runner seems to stack kind of in the air. If I had huh. a map with uh, places where my stuff is, I wouldn't leave it alone. That's a good point. Well, the slime is right. I feel as though I've almost been sent on a wild goose chase. Mm. That seems true. I, I can't ignore that logic, but at the same time, it's the only lead the I lead have. Lead we have. Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> Hmm. I knew a jockey betrayed us. <laughs> Kill him now. <laughs> Jock just shrugs. Can I eat him? Oh my god. Jock is oh, away. No. Uh, he looks at all of you a bit terrified. Uh, I mean, you can go or you can just not go. Uh, maybe it's just smudges of pain. If he said that, I guess. And then steps aside. Dust. Mm -hmm. Sus. Jockey, are you sure that you don't know anything about these exes? He said, I, I can only guess. I, 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 I lived in Eek all my life. I. Once again, I can only guess. All right. because you, just because you lived uh, just lived your whole life, that doesn't mean you don't know what these exes mean. Uh, well, then again, maybe the birds were well, supposed to protect the thingy. They didn't do a very good job. Unless get fired. I mean, Va Valentine. Jo joke just kind of looks at you. Can I guess? All right, Jackie. You go ahead and guess. Uh, <laughs> see, seeing that uh, he kind of points at the map where BCC just got the points. Seeing that there's a hat out here, but there's no X's. Maybe each of these crosses has their own little map, but there's no X there, but shows the other X's. So maybe it's the same as there. He kind of pokes at Eek and then points at everything. Maybe everywhere else is like there. So, a hive helped? You know so, what I think? Uh, how exactly did you learn of this anyway? Uh, I was I was drinking about uh, four months ago and uh, I was asked if I want to make some quick uh, gold and I, 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 I just accepted I, I had to move some heavy crates uh, sneak around in the forest a bit and uh, yeah and how did you learn of the uh, hideout thingy uh, the hideout was pretty simple as there were carriages that were brought with stuff we took we placed them down and of course uh, we took what we needed in crates or chests or boxes and we carried them to uh he kind of points at you valentine 
uh, that warehouse that you saw, uh, uh, that you've been with the, you know, the, he kind of, he kind of gives this motion to Recifitra as he kind of tries to indicate, like, with like, someone sh getting shot through the skull with a bolt. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, I don't, I don't know. I never went down there before. I saw people walking around there. We were told not to go down there. But... Hmm. So they are treasure troves. Hmm. I suppose it can't hurt to check out one and see what happens. I think it's the best we've got to go on. Yeah, and then, you know, if stuff goes wrong, then we just go, go about our day. I wanna find like... some treasure! <laughs> I wouldn't Not mind cheese. finding some myself. We don't Recipe. eat treasure! I mean, but you, you can... But what is treasure for if not to eat it? I mean, yeah, it's, if you can eat her share of the treasure, I guess. But she could get more if she just sells it, you know, <laughs> and I guess... True. Hmm. Sorry, not that she already gobbled two of my gold po uh, gold pieces. <laughs> <laughs> so, is my... there no difference between spending all of your gold on wine than just eating the gold? I didn't spend it all on wine. I just bought one bottle for each one of us. I wasn't talking about you. Ooh, got a little defensive there. <laughs> <laughs> so, this... I don't know what you mean. Decisions, decisions. Um, what would you like to do? I say we go to Platus. I don't want to cut through the forest. Yeah, I like the forest. Get I think it's kind of risky. Some, I don't know, like a bear with antlers or something stupid like that. Oh, I've seen such things before. Really? Mm. I think. Mm. Maybe it was also you just uh, a bear that had like some uh, some branches behind it. I'm pretty sure it was a, a bear with antlers. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh -huh. So, if you decide to go towards Platus, please roll me a d10, one of you, as the journey continues. Mm -hmm. Who do the honors go to? Oh, that's 19. That's a bit too much. That's a d19. Yes, I know. My keyboard is a terrible. 19-sided dice. <laughs> the cursed die. Do not go <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> I for one enjoyed this. Ooh! Ooh. Very cool. So! <sighs> you know, Trevor, I, I assume you take the road, the, the massive wide road that you can just walk and have vantage points, right? Or you would go basically in the plains <sighs> to the side. I think we might as well stick to a road, unless there's some reason not yeah. to, right? Like just, let's just stick to the road. Okay. So! Aww. Yeah. Okay. Aww. <laughs> Aww. 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 I'm sorry. Yeah. So, traversing for about two hours, no problems, nothing, nothing at all, as all of a sudden, in front of you, maybe... <laughs> Who has the highest perception of like 14 or higher? You can spot 300 feet away what seems to be a lying dead body on the dead of the road. That, does anyone have a perception of 14 or higher? I had 13. I have, I have 13. Guys, guys, I have 9. Okay, okay. In that case, <laughs> oh in that case, uh, those who have 13 perception, uh, about oh. 200 feet away you see a dead body pelted with several dozen arrows laying oh, dead no. oh my god how, how old are we talking uh are you gonna approach it though that's the question because 200 feet away that's a bit of distance to just investigate up front yeah Ooh, approach <laughs> hold on I, I i see it as well and i approach as well uh, Not for the same reason. I pull out my shield. 
Investigation, uh, if you please. And those who... Yeah, investigation. Let's see Let's see what you peruse. Plus this one. man is dead. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> he, he fucking perception. died. Yes, yeah, perception. It would appear... Oh, I'm big he brain. He was shot by at least one arrow. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Okay. Uriel <laughs> also agrees that this man is dead. Yeah, so the idea, I'm pretty sure he's dead. You also can roll as well. <laughs> I'm not so sure. I think eh. his chest moved. <laughs> <laughs> um. Might just be bugs for. Ooh, okay. that's good. Also, so in DNA. Valentine. Uh, there is there is a gray area to this. This this person got pelted by you count about thirty or so arrows at the back. The silver lining though is it's not a human, it's an elf. Oh good. <laughs> <laughs> uh but yeah, you basically see these crude wooden arrows basically destroy this elf's bag, basically about thirty-two of them in the back. This man is beyond dead and has been dead for several hours. Um, looking with uh, just around, you see, of course. Well, actually, Recipitra, Peyron, and Dania, you see a lot of sa satyr hoof prints. Like, a lot. Uh, that seem to be traveling. I think we're on the right track. That seem to be traveling from um, the left side of the road. To the right. As in, they seem so to be... towards Platus? No, 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 towards south. Into the forest. Yeah, into the forest oh, south. Oh, into the forest. Yeah. That was a good idea. Good thing we didn't go through there then. Yeah. As, uh... I you thought you wanted to fight them. You, you look at it, and of course you see that... Um, clothing of this fella are pretty decent. Maybe a merchant, or was a merchant. Uh, and you see, his stuff has not been looted. So... If you want to loot his body, and I assume Recipitra is, of course, gonna loot everything, including its body mass. Um, I uh, yes. You find mm -hmm. you find you find a silver dagger, just a nice silver dagger, nothing ornate or interesting about it, except for it's made of silver. A pouch of gold, seventeen gold pieces. In total, and a magical, <laughs> a magical item in a form of a necklace. It's a simple copper chain strapped to a piece of unrefined sapphire that seems to not be dissolving in your stomach. Well, I will, uh, I will keep the gold pieces. I will spit out the silver dagger and hand it to Valentine. You like daggers, right? Yes, yes, I do. Stab, stab. Is it like actually yes, silver and not just shiny? No, it's it's pure silver. It's like it's... a silver dagger. This would be a terrible weapon. Yeah, I was gonna say, is silver silver's not good for weapons. Right. But you know what silver is good for? Anomaly only caught it in silver. Anyway, uh, I will I will test test the amulet as a ritual cast. Mm -hmm. So yeah, ritual cast. And uh, anything else you want to do with the body? The the body is basically just destroyed. And you realize because you have such investigation, uh, the arrows are literally made of wood. They're not. They don't have any metal tips they're literally pointy sticks that you realize shot at such like making such an impact like few inches into the human body that 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 must be done through a lot of force to go that far in um someone threw these sticks very hard taro okay. mm-hmm <laughs> Yeah, anything you wish to do with the body, or just leave it, I guess, on the road? Uh. I I mean, I thought it's already inside. Oh, you are you gonna? <laughs> oh, you're gonna. I was gonna like do some like last rites or something. Sure, you can do that before I go back. Huh? Um. 
<laughs> okay, um, I kind of, you know, do a prayer for this dead elf. Um, I'm trying to figure out how I'd feel religiously about Resurfecture eating. Yeah, la people. last ride's being said as the body just basically starts floating up and just disappearing um, before your eyes. <laughs> Just, just see it as an uh, incineration barrier, just with more acid and less fire. Mm -mm. Uh, okay. Okay. Um. And with the mask actually being used instead of wasted. So. I suppose that's Isn't it true. beautiful? Nature at work. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, anybody else? Anything about the surrounding area or the likes? Uh. Anything I'm you still want to... busy uh, marching yeah, yeah. on that amulet, trying to find out what it is, so nothing from me. Do we want to follow um, the satyrs, maybe, to see the satyr tracks? Hmm. We could. Ah, yes. <laughs> they just I... killed, a, they killed a random person. Yeah, so... And they're also very, extremely barbaric about it. I mean, look how many arrows they used. This could have been done with, like, two. It does seem pretty inefficient. Knobs, knobs. Extremely excessive. Yes. And I mean... assuming each satyr shot maybe two arrows, I think their numbers are far greater than we thought. We should be careful. This is kind of... Can I, can I... What if he attacked first? This is. I mean, he is an elf. <laughs> but he was shot in the back, so he must have been running. It doesn't though. mean anything! <laughs> the... No, you're I right. You're right. Are very friendly. Usually, when you attack people, you get shot in the front. So he didn't do anything. He got just, just shot, you know? And they didn't even take his goods. Is this a warning? Is this a warning? I wonder what her problem was with him just walking along the road. Well, <laughs> Baby, perhaps while we're wait. walking along the road, we'll find out. Maybe they Hopefully were waiting not for in the us. Same way. And she, like, looks at her back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, um, Resifitra, your, uh, your. Uh, identify passes and you realize that this is a necklace of lightning resistance uh it does not require hmm. attunement and if you wear this necklace you gain resistance to lightning damage no immunity I sage <laughs> dude i think okay. i know you like rings do you also like this kind of ring um I think that is a ring <laughs> I'm just collecting all the jewelry. <laughs> I'm gonna be iced out by the end of this. <laughs> it helps you to not get set. That would be helpful. Mm. Mm. I mean, mm. we could keep, well. we could even sell it, couldn't we? We None should keep it for ourselves for now. That's true. We should keep going before it starts to get late. Uh, right. We should get going. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Roll me another d10, if you will. If you please. So, uh, is anyone taking it, or do I keep it? I took it. <laughs> okay. I'm and then is also go going to roll d10? Ooh, alrighty. Ooh. So, good news and bad news for all of you. Good news is <laughs> the wind has subsided and the traveling uh, for a good hour from there went quite, quite smoothly. Everything is nice. The bad news is another hour in, aka two hours into this, um, and in total you've been over five hours just walking. Uh, rain from the south 
the, the clouds catches up to you and starts to slightly but gently pour. Uh, by all, uh, by all measurements, we're all soaking wet eventually. Ayonea, make sure to get the sandy amulet on, in case the lightning hits you. <laughs> oh, right, 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 right. I put it on. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, but besides that, there is literally nothing that happened. The same familiar road. It's like, it's like, you know, those fever dreams where you walk down a road and you're like, this, this goes like forever. And you look back, you see that there's footprints. It's, it's empty. Not a single person. Not, nothing at all of interest. No landmarks, nothing. Just walking. Roll me another d10, someone. I'ma do that. I'm very confident in my rolling skills. In before net one. <laughs> oh, fair enough. What do you mean? <laughs> fair so. enough. So, um, everybody, roll me a perception check. Oh my god. <sighs> perception. Time to proceed. All my luck is gone now, so I. Lamau. Wow, oh, no, uh, not why is Ferris so blind? Oh, you, he's, he's so uh, flabbergasted by his oh shit, Valentine. Ural, Ural is probably the only person who fucking sees this. So, walking, walking down. It's been raining for about an hour. You're about six hours into this journey. You don't know when. You don't see any landmarks. No indications when Titus is or will be. And through through the rain. Yurel, you're the only one who hears it. You hear a neigh, a yelp of a horse, echo from the sky. A yell? A yell, a, a horse. A neigh, if a you horse. will. A horse. A horse. Mm-hmm. They watch me whip. <laughs> they watch me neigh. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I look up. What do I see? Looking from the road, you see... To the side by the tree line is um, a carriage that has been turned over by the tree line. And you see there is a horse that is kind of turned over with the with the carriage strapped to it. And seems not able to get out and is uh, basically... Wait, in the sky? In the tree line. On the on the tr trees. In tree line. No, in the tree line. Oh my fuck. What is the tree line? The edge of the forest. Ah. Okay. <laughs> in the sky, there is a carriage tumbled over. Yeah, what, uh, but no, I was saying I would look up into the sky. Well, anyway, I'm looking to the sky. If there's because a I thing. because I thought it came. Uh, anyway, doesn't okay. matter. Yeah. I see a horse. Yeah, yeah you, see, the you, see, okay. you, you see a horse maybe 300 feet um, in, by the tree line, uh, tumbled over with a cart, and it seems to be crying for help as it seems unable to get out. Uh, oh. I, uh, I point at it and be like, guys, look! It's, 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 it's a horse and... Uh, uh, and a carriage, that, like, on, like a... And you said the carriage is, like, completely overturned? <laughs> yeah, it's overturned. Yeah, yeah to the, so, to, to the side. Like, like somebody no, tilted no, over. No, thanks. I'm, I'm still for it. <laughs> I'll stop. No, it's not for eating! <laughs> no, not for eating. No, 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 no. And the, and the horse is alive? Yeah, it seems to be... It seems, like, you look at it and you see that it's been basically, uh, I guess, strapped, like, normally to a carriage. But it got like turned over, and it's kind of slightly turned over with it. It can free itself, and it's trying to get out, but it's just neighing for help. I'll I'll head over. I'll help. Yeah, it's the same. I'm like, I'm it's amusing. I'm, I'm laughing because I, I I imagine for a moment like a whole horse and carriage turned onto its side, and like the horse is like. Stiff on its side as well, like it's a 3D model. <laughs> <laughs> that 
is that is more yeah. hilarious. Just, it's... just like shredding in the air. <laughs> yeah. Like... <laughs> I think this is how it works. Hmm. Making your I way. I have fallen and I can't get up. You, Sorry. you you make it to the carriage and you see um, the carriage, besides getting stuck by a handful of trees. You know what? Roll me investigation check, everybody. Uh, investigation. Yes. Oh, God, I, have, I, have, I have a plus three on that. Never mind. Hey. Bruh. That's cute. If only I would roll that. Ooh. Ooh. So oh, everybody except for Feyre and Recifitra, you get to the horse and you see that, first of all, the horse seemingly is alive, just kind of uncomfortable position. Uh, the cart itself seemingly empty and it seems to be like one of those wagons that you've been on, like uh, traveling to Eek a few days ago. Uh, you see that it has this torn cloth top that is slightly shredded but still useful. The card itself is undamaged, undamaged. But when you look inside, you see that it's covered in blood, dried up blood. Oh, uh, oh no! Uh, and you can deter that this horse, by the tracks that it made, it made these tracks recently, no more than maybe two hours ago, as it seemed to made its way off the road way ahead of you where you're going into these planes and eventually either collapsed out of exhaustion and kind of caught the horse caught himself here or uh, the the kit cart caught on to something and it basically made the horse stop and fall over oh uh. okay but there's like no one in the nope carriage. there's there's literally no items to be found except for uh the horse that is alive and seemingly just passive perception healthy just stuck and the carriage i guess uh this is that i think this was like you know uh we, when german we say überfall i forgot the name i got uh city <laughs> help me here Robbery? Robbery! Right! It was- a, I think it was a robbery! I would like to look for tracks around the, uh, carriage. Oh yeah, you can see the tracks seemingly go through the plains, but you see that eventually those planes would just hit the road. Would you just follow those? Like... Like any other kind of tracks, other than like from the carriage? Nope, like if there nope, were people nope, or nope. blood or something? It, seem, it seems that you're the only ones that are making any uh, foot traffic here. Uh, the cart is the only thing that is, has made any traffic. Nothing else has seemed to uh, stomp it's the cart. lying? Course. Dude. Hmm? Hmm. Like is some is on the case. Yeah, lick the Apparently floor and maybe there... you can lick some and maybe you can like smell something like a dog. Considering that there are no uh, other markings around here, I deduct that uh, whoever was in the carriage already died or got incapacitated on the road and then we it, it uh, got here because no one was controlling the horse. That's actually fairly astute. Why are you <laughs> smart, man? Why are you smart? So, you got a horse, you got a car, what are you gonna do with it? Hmm. Well, we can obviously take this, we can ride in it. Hmm. Yeah, but can we, like, like, do we have the strength to, like, put it on his, like, uh, It depends! How many of you gonna try to pull it out and put the horse like, back? There's, there's what? Five, five of us? Yeah. Five of us plus I'm I can summon strong. an unseen um five of us plus I can summon an unseen servant that can lift what is it? 30? Yeah. Okay. Roll me roll me everybody's strength checks or two with advantage. I uh strength checks or what? Uh four oh everybody can roll strength checks or well actually, yeah. Four strength no. All of you can roll strength checks or three with advantage. So who's had yeah? 
Well, I assume, I assume we all help, plus, plus uh, DNA is... No, oh, a five? No. Uh, really? <laughs> oh. No, wait, really? Oh, how? <laughs> how? Two, this... one. Um, I said, uh... Um... I said, produce some head for chemicals and... Oh my god! Wait, <laughs> oh. <laughs> two, I'm one, girls, out of 20, the, what is this? The actual girls, the ones who are just... In, no, like, you're, 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 you're a man. Dick. Not, 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 yeah. Dick, no, no, yeah, yeah. But the paladin in armor, same with the knight, just fucking not the knight, the fighter just fail. It has like, a strength of two. What? Thing. Also, I should produce some the, uh, wait, for chemicals the, uh, that wait, make my body stronger and cast the guidance. Yeah, okay. So the phone's uh, ringing. Strong slime. Well. Uh, good news oh is, <laughs> takes you takes you just a minute or so to basically make sure when you tilt the thing, it, it doesn't like, catch it any more shrubbery or basically break itself on the sudden weight shift and you all pull. And two tugs later, all of a sudden the side of the cart flips back to the <laughs> two normal. Same with the horses, all of a sudden it stands up. Still panicked. I have a question. Who wishes to roll an animal handling check to see if they can calm down uh, the horse? Me, me, me! Oh, me. I want to. No, fuck off. Me. <laughs> Natural <laughs> one. <laughs> animal handling. Okay. With my mage head and my unseen servant combined, we can add 16 pounds of strength. No, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, you got the card out, just... Who's gonna... Oh, okay. Animal handling for the horse! Let's go! Who's gonna, who's gonna make sure that the horse is not gonna just, you know... Who? May I at least help if I'm not allowed sure, to... Sure, sure, <laughs> sure. Roll additional oh. one. Yeah, you get advantage, you roll. Roll. Oh, should I, uh, again? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Plus three. Ah! Jesus Christ! Well, good news. Uh... The horse didn't. The horse didn't seem to bolt immediately after it got like helped out, but it's also not seemingly able to cooperate with you. It seems to be fucking stressed, foaming out of mouth and trying to hit anyone and try to get loose. We as... have an apple! Does someone have an apple? <laughs> I, I think I do have an apple. I only have poisonous mushrooms. I have, oh, you will I not have pounds of apple. Oh yeah, can we like maybe give the horse like one or two apples? Animal handling from Dainia with advantage. Dainia, like give, give this horse uh, an apple. I think she, I think this horse likes you more. Is it the she? Is it he? Like, give, me, give me the gender. You wanna check? <laughs> yeah, just look. Yeah, it's a, have a dick. It, it's a she. Okay. I, would, I would like to, uh, I no, would like to give like Dianea some, uh, some very nice smelling liquid oh. for uh, communicating with the horse as well as, uh, I don't know, massaging her shoulders with my tentacles to give her help, action, and guidance. <laughs> What? I rolled a four to try to give the horse. No, no, just, just, just it with, one. Yeah, with, with advantage. With advantage. So additional roll one. Again. Yeah. Roll again, Dania. With advantage, just like I said. Another one. Another one. And another one. Oh! Oh! Shit. And uh, remember to add one d4 for guidance. Yeah, you. Everybody's gonna be stacked on that guidance. Hey, I'm not uh, doing I... not every ability check. I'm just doing it when it makes sense. Fair, fair. Do I want to have like guidance of a slime? I'm not sure if it's like okay. just so stu so stupid and lucky, or the... just like. So DNA, you I see, you see the animal panic, frustrated. Trying to figure out are you enemies or foes agitated, and then when you give the apple, it all of a sudden just uh, stands there for a second and takes the apple, uh, biting it, and becoming docile and friendly almost immediately with no. Need. Hey, let's go. 
yeah. I am one with nature. <laughs> <laughs> or something. Uh, so, Truly. So, good news is that you have now a cart that can fit all of you with a horse. Um, bad news, I guess. Also, good news is that it also has some cover from the rain, so you're not going to be soaking wet anymore. Bad news is the entire interior of this cart is decked out in blood. Can I eat it? Can she lick up the blood? Yeah, can uh can Recifitra clean the blood? <laughs> Deep cleaning, I see how it goes. <laughs> um Yes. So it turns into a vacuum cleaner and I just like <laughs> Someone like, grabs her by the body you're, and like just wipes like, her on the floor. You're you're like ew, disgusting, Recipitra. Now it's like Recipitra, please. <laughs> um, you 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 soak up as Ooh, much blood a, as much blood as you can, turning it from this crimson red interior to this like this docile red, almost pinkish, in some spots. That's Ooh, good pink. enough. <laughs> Anyway, uh, after I'm done with that, I want to get out and follow the tracks because Detective Betsuphitra is on the case. Okay, is there any... Okay, so question. The horse, of course, is pretty chill, relaxed, all, all things considered. But also, Recipitra is going on her own little adventure. Uh, who's going with Recipitra and who's staying with the horse? It, it, are the tracks, like, are they leading down the road or is this a, a complete sidetrack? Uh, it, it seems like it rode off the the road into the tree line and got stuck you can see the wagon has clear markings so what, yeah so what so, tracks so is I'm, what, I'm what tracks are in the future tracks towards the road yeah because she's walking back towards the road oh then i'll follow rest of yeah yeah I, I will stay with the horse then i will wait who's who for you guys. or are you commanding the horse to just uh go oh yeah we can take the horse with us yeah okay Who's 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 riding with the horse? Who's who's commanding the horse where to go? Who's steering it? Who's driving the horse? <laughs> I guess I would be right. Okay. Yeah, so then they had. Okay. So I don't. I have a car. I, I mean, what is a car? <laughs> okay. Okay. So as uh, as you're uh, getting a, finally a horse, some mode of transport, and of course you make your way to. Um, the road recifitra and valentine from where you did like forked back to where you forked into the tree line and where you emerge following the trail that led you to that place it's maybe 400 600 feet and when you stumble on the road where the trail of the wagon just stared into the into the plains and into the trees um uh, you see seven bodies uh laying dead um uh, some seven have seven oh my god some bodies uh, ah, some, some, I some, knew it. some bodies seem to have their body uh, their their blades drawn you see halflings humans elves and a dwarf uh, all of them some are pelted with several arrows similar design as you saw previously while some seem to be stabbed and basically massacred with blades as there are deep cuts in their body neck and head there's this nice i knew i was right i love playing detected <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, so mo like a good minute after this finding, uh, I guess you decide what you want to do. Uh, Dionia with uh, Faren and you're also down the road towards uh, going towards Valentine and Recipitra. You also see this uh, massacre. Yeah. It's a bit where, like runs uh, towards them as they come there uh, with like a big smile. It's like I was right! I was right! I knew it! Right. Yeah, you did very well. Good job. But yeah, there's there's this massive pool of rainwater and blood that kind of connects every single body. Pretty nice. 
I think it goes without saying that if we continue down the road like this, we are going to get attacked. It's true. Yeah. So we just need to be ready for that. Uh, do we want to... I feel like we need to put whoever did this to, to justice, no? What uh, do you think? Roll me, roll me, my good people, roll me, um, investigation. Also, who's checking the bodies for loot? For loot? Uh, I, uh, <laughs> that's, that's a great team of dead. Uh, <laughs> telling Diane about her great uh, deduction, um, to check the bodies for now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Is... uh, investigation? Uh-huh. Is anybody like actually checking the bodies for loot and valuables? Cause no, I don't... I'm not. I'm not gonna loot the bodies. Oh fuck! Who's looting though? Is anybody or just leaving the bodies as they are? I'm just leaving them. Uh, yeah, same. Okay. Mm -hmm. Recipitra. Once, she want... uh, once I'm done uh, telling Diana about my great accomplishments, I'm like. Uh, no, on to the next clue, and I uh, look through them to see uh, if I find <laughs> anything else. <laughs> Recipient roll investigation with advantage. But this time I'm actually not eat any of them because I'm still pretty fucking full. <laughs> uh, investigation with advantage. Ay, ay, ay. Ooh, d20. Ooh, ooh. Oi! Okay. That is a 25. So what you realize, Valentine, and uh, mainly Valentine, actually, just observing this, you see the familiar cracks of Seder. You can count at least 14 or 15 individual hoofprints going from the south to the north. If you take uh, into consideration the previous tracks you saw, it's almost like a zigzag pattern that seemingly uh, these were taken first, and those who use witness back there with the first dude was the more fresher ones. Um, uh, but besides that, the bodies have basically massacred the. They seemed like they had no chance of fighting. They seem, some of them seem to be prepared, like weapons kind of pulled out, while some don't even have them out. Um, Recifitra, though, as you go from pouch to pouch, <laughs> from clothing to clothing, uh, you get all their pouches. All seven of them. Uh, weapons, pretty simple. Hand axes and short swords. Uh, a few bows and a handful of quivers. Um, and then you see this dwarven fella. With his pouch there is a note with a seemingly a wax sigil stamped on it. That is covered in just rainwater and blood. Is it like just a sigil or is it like a seal? Uh, it looks like a wax seal. You don't... You don't know if it's, uh... Oh. Hmm? Nothing. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, you don't really know what uh, the... Um, what what it could be, unless you want to open it and see what's inside. I want to open it. Okay. Valentine, are you going to interact with this thing as Recifero just <laughs> rummaging through the dead? <laughs> I'm mostly, uh, I, I'm actually, I'm actually I, distracted I, I want, right now. I'm, uh... I want to really quickly, uh, bolt in and say that uh, the rummaging is quite literally rummaging. Like, anything that doesn't have any form of significance is just, like, thrown over her head. <laughs> Oh no. Okay. <laughs> um. So. This feature has a good repertoire with Valentine, so he's not too concerned about what she's doing. Okay. <laughs> I, right now, my thought is 
if we could get some wooden planks because these these arrows are crappy. They're mm -hmm. not they're not well made. So my thought is if we can get some wooden planks and put them up against the sides of the wagon underneath the cloth covering, we could potentially avoid the initial barrage from the forest. Hmm. Well, because my my assumption is that the the ambush is happening. We we are going to be, like if we head back, we're going to get attacked. If we keep going forward, we're going to get attacked. No matter what we do, uh, the satyrs are going to be on us. Hmm. But we need to find some extra wood to be yeah. able to like, or some extra like barriers. Mm -mm. Well, Recipitra. Piece of wood. Recipitra, yes. you open up the seal. You look at the at uh, the note that basically reads uh, uh, those who may concern we are outnumbered undersupplied and we need help go to any settlement go to eat go to the crossroads go to pala if needs be by all that is holy, we need help. Plotus is getting besieged. Oh. There's... I found a clue! <laughs> and uh, she just like holds the like, out, oh, yeah. like 10 feet into the air with a tentacle, like maximum range, and like waves it around. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. What does it say, Recevitra? Here! Yeah. And she just, like, puts it in his hands. You see, you see that this is a plea for help, as apparently Platus is getting under siege and asks for anybody to help. This is, this is a plea and an order, but there is no signature. And the seal of, is a seal, it doesn't have any sigil, it just looks formally written. I read it for a moment, and I, uh, I put it, I, I set it down, and I kind of sit on the side of the wagon for a moment and take a deep breath. Finally, I finally found it. The enemy of humanity. I finally know the identity of the enemy hu of humanity. Who is that? The Fae. Huh. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. Dun! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I think since I was told, I mean, it's been two hours and I think Valentine and Denny, you need to go, right? Yeah, I got. we got to jet yeah. at, at three. I got to eat and uh, yeah. she's got to do a stream. So, I think that's a good place to call it. That's a good cliffhanger. As you figure so out. Next time we're going to... Uh... Next time we're gonna build ourselves a thick uh, carriage that is armored, sick, resistant, uh, and ready for battle. The battle wagon, yep. The, the battle oh. wagon. We gotta install some spikes. Oh Very. yeah. Very cool. Well, I mean, first of all, you need to get those spikes, spikes. somewhere. So oh. yeah. Well, there's plenty of trees. I mean, I'm just saying I have proficiency with Tinko's tools, um, Thief's tools. How many is the kit? I can supply Spoiler's kit and I can produce any tool that we need in one hour. Damn. And I have, um, as a battle master, <laughs> I have proficiency of one artisan's tool set of my choice, which I have not chosen yet because I don't know how to do that. Fair, fair. So, with that being said, I guess that's that's a session four in a close. Is there anything you wish to say before I'm shutting the stream down with no survivors? These nuts. Jesus Christ. Thank, Thank you for coming. Well, I the hope. The enemy of humanity, apparently. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna name it the enemy of humanity in all caps, the Fae. The Fae. The Fae. The Fae.